Thank you, Skylar. And once again, Lean Frontiers and Skylar appreciate the effort you guys put into providing us the platform to have these discussions. So firstly, welcome Wayne. Wayne Meyer is the VP of Quality and Operational Excellence for Tasian Automotive. Wayne, thank you very much for joining me. And my name's Oscar Roach. Uh, you'll hear a little bit from me, um, but not so much during uh, this discussion in the next half an hour. So how did it start? So Wayne and I have known each other for quite some time, been connected through work through the um, Institute and, and Wayne's passion for job relations. Wayne emailed me um, in May this year and he said, was what Mike Rother observed at Toyota and branded coaching Carter, either job relations or the current ongoing evolution of TWJR within Toyota? And I thought that was a fantastic question. And it indicated Wayne's depth of experience in job relations and the Toyota Carter patterns. So before we get into that, the guts of that question, Wayne, just tell us a little bit about your, I know you're experienced in both, but just let it tell us a little bit about firstly, job relations and you're passionate about it. Um, why? Uh, well, I think uh, the human element in our work, and I'm in manufacturing, automotive manufacturing, uh, sometimes as uh, taken aside to technology and people believe that you can uh, put technology in place of people, but no matter what technologies we're using, we always need to have an integration with people, whether it's through our work standards or just the interactions between management and the, the people working. And <clears throat> truly during these tough times, we, our company's been having retention issues. And, um, and I just noticed um, many, be, many of the supervisors in our company have been promoted from within, technically sound, but not good with people. They don't know how to, to even recognize potentially that there is a problem with somebody that normally is a good operator every day. So when I really started to study job relations and understood all aspects, well, I don't understand everything yet, but I'm still working, mastering it. But when you understand the building a good, strong relationship with people, and once you identify there's a potential problem to solve with people, an actual scientific systematic method to do that just truly got me engaged and excited. It made sense. One and one made three. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and how long ago was when did you start your um, uh, practicing of job of the skill of practicing the pattern of job relations? How long ago was that? Uh, that was three years ago. That was about three years ago. So yeah. then t tell us a little bit about Toyota Carter background. Similar question. Um, when were you introduced to it? Why? I know you're passionate about it. Uh, yeah. Same question. Why? Well, Toyota Carter, <clears throat> um, at the, the time I was interested in Toyota Carter, general, I was the plant manager of a manufacturing company that was also in the automotive world. And we had a, a huge campaign to get everybody green belt certified and black belt certified and I'm personally black belt. Um, but the actual problem solving technique seemed to be too complicated for the people on the floor to understand. And uh, I was on holiday and happened to pick up Mike's book and read the book and there's a case study While you're on there. holiday. Uh -huh. While you're on holiday. holiday. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, my wife appreciates my reading on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> One stars Friday, I'll be reading a book <laughs> called Humble Inquiry. Anyway, um, so there's a case study in there where there's an interaction between, and this goes back to the whole relationship with job relations. There's an interaction between a supervisor and an employee or a manager and employee where they're working on a defect on a door. This and is in Mike's the, initial book, is it? The 2009. Yeah, the, first one, of yeah. the initial book. Yep. Um, and at the end of the story, you find out that they had accomplished solving the problem within the shift. And I was like, well, that is truly amazing. And I knew that was based on true uh, observation from Mike and, and, and the folks he was working with. So I got more curious about it at that point. I went and studied it, started practicing it, introduced it to my shop floor. And the people on the shop floor said, to me personally, like, why didn't we do this all along? It's just so much more simple than trying to do a domain, following the domain process for them, it was. 
Um, and we really had some great accomplishments with it. I've been with Toyota Kata maybe a year after the book came out. I was at the very first summit. Ah, well, yeah, right. Okay. So Yeah, that's going back. So that's um, sort of 10 years. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I have my mug from the first Kata summit in my office here. Ah, yeah, right. I see. Yeah. Spot on. So just talk a little bit more about that too complicated because that's something that I've sort of rare that's something that I, I believe pretty strongly too is i think that some of these systems that are out there are either too complicated for their own good or they're computer based um, and it becomes more about satisfying the requirements of the computer system than actually the way you think so tell me a little bit more about that too complicated comment well the, please um the complication part really becomes in in the black belts, depending on what tools you're taught to use and the graphing techniques and things like that. But when you think about shop floor operators and things like that, yes. you know, um, it's just, it's not at their level. It's not that there's, they, they could learn it over time, but we're trying to solve problems quickly. And uh, they are the experts. They don't necessarily have to set up a design of experiment, hypothesis and all those things and take two to three months to, to really prove it out most of the time. There is certainly time for Demaic Method and Black Belt projects and stuff like that. But I would say the majority of what I experienced on the shop floor can be done through a simple scientific method, PVCA. There's complications with PVCA, just explaining it depending on how people use it, but it's much easier to explain. Yes. Yeah, yeah, good. So, so thank you. Um, now let's lead into so Carter, uh, Toyota Carter, you started practicing that, say, 10 years ago, job relations three years ago. At, when, at what point did you start to recognize some or f feel that you recognized some parallels? How, how long ago well, was that? Um, and what always, sort of, how did that develop? Yeah, how did it develop? So I've always, since I joined this company, I've always felt like Toyota Carter was going to be the answer to all our problems. Just, I mean, we say just, just Carter, you know, kind of thing. So are and, you saying just Carter or are you saying just scientific thinking? Well, that's what I evolved to. Ah, that's the point. Okay. Right. So, right. It was like before it was pretty much a go-do exercise and I held much of the expertise. But again, how do you duplicate, multiply the exercises? So when I started working with people on the shop floor with the Kata and understanding that they were having even some under, problems understanding, even though it was my second launch, I had to understand what the problem was with either me and my teaching technique. If the teacher hasn't, you know, taught, the learner hasn't learned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the, truly, what what was the block to that? So that's when the uh, job relations came into play, and then I started thinking about the relationship because they're both following a scientific method. Oh, sorry. Um, so just, just to clarify, you if, when you were getting those blocks and you weren't yeah. moving forward with the Toyota Carter patterns, mm -hmm. you, it was then that you recognized the potential for job relations to help you with that. Absolutely. Okay, right. Sorry. So going. basically trying to teach and mentor and coach people, and, and I saw blocks for what I thought were fairly simple processes. I had to get over myself, basically, and say, well, wait a minute, I'm not sure I'm talking... Uh, common enough language or so what was the what were the obstacles for that learner to learn and I had to use job relations to do that I had to get all the facts uh, then basically weigh and decide some different options and then decide how to execute that um, and that's really when I started thinking about the relationship because that conversation with the learner is why I was wondering if Mike was observing you know, as, you know, job relations, I think with Toyota started in the 50s and 1950s. And, yeah, um, correct. and so the, that conversation naturally had to start happening between coach, mentor, learner, that kind of relationship, right? Yeah, yeah. And if you follow those four job relation steps, much of what we're getting with scientific thinking for people, we could get for scientific thinking for problem solving. And um, so that's where it all started to match for me. Okay. So just to illustrate that point you made then, you said that scientific thinking for people, and you've equated that to JR, um, 
could you just talk about that a bit further? Go into that a little bit deeper, if you could, please explain that further. Scientific, the JR is scientific thinking for people. Well, uh, the JR basically follows a four-step method uh, for when you're doing the problem solving, not yes. necessarily, necessarily building strong relations, but building strong relations could be a result of what the things you have to do um, from way you decide. But thinking in a systematic method, thinking about where I want to go, you know, what's yes. the objective, the very first thing you do. Yep. So that's, if you relate that to COTA, it's like, what's the vision, the challenge, the target condition, or all your objectives. Yeah. And then, then I have to understand the current condition, even with the employees, so that I have to get all the facts. So that's yep. direct parallels between getting current condition and getting all the facts. Yep. And, and all of a sudden, it, it just triggered with me, I can follow this process with people, and I, I, I do it daily, and truly get to a point where I can understand what their needs were versus what I prescribed as what should be done because understanding their current condition what's impacting them influencing them in a scientific method help keep me between the rails sure so then that the you know we understand current condition and that's similar to get the facts yes so keep talking through that jr pattern and the science and just illustrate the scientific correlation with kata yeah so again you know you know the objective and the the target condition, those things line up well. Get the facts in the current condition line up really well. And then the next step, <clears throat> which is weigh and decide, you know, possible actions and things you're going to take are the same as creating a hypothesis, yes. right? Of what you might do for your next step in a kata process if you're in the improvement kata coaching kata cycle. So what are my hypotheses? Or you can use that as a, a place to seek out your obstacles you know from the facts that's the other thing so what are the obstacles i have to overcome and then when you put all the facts together what are my possible next steps and what experiments am i trying yeah. and then finally the the fourth step is you know to follow up <clears throat> which is basically you know the kind of question is when can we go see what you've learned yes and that's basically what the follow-up is how fast you're gonna you know setting all those conditions so I think there's a direct parallel in the, the patterns, you know, the routines. Um, it's just truly what information you're trying to glean that's different. Yes. So in job relations, the inf information we're trying to glean is people related. Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon me. In Toyota Carta, practicing Toyota Carta patterns, it tends to be process related. Absolutely. But the two, yeah, I 100% agree and see what you're aiming at. Um, you mentioned bef uh, a couple of minutes ago about the reactive, proactive side of job relations and how it tends to be, you know, te we tend to react, use job relations reactively, but, yes. but it can still be used proactively uh, yeah. in terms of the four-step pattern and scientific thinking. So, at, you know, as we're trained in job relations, the, the sooner we identify a problem, the better. Yes. Right. So, if, you know, versus running into a problem, it, it's really if you can proactively keep your antenna up, so to speak, yeah. and understand when you start seeing changes in people's behaviors and things like that, the one way to be proactive about it is then turn to the proactive side of the job relations card and, and understand, you know, make sure that you're communicating exactly how the person is doing, right? Making sure that you're recognizing their good efforts. Um, if there's changes coming up, if they've heard rumors, so you can proactively offset some of those problems. But it, but more than that, on a daily basis or whatever your contact frequency is with a person, those four proactive items, they're not steps, so to speak, but no. the items on the proactive side of the job relations card, if you practice those things daily with your team, I've just found that that relationship between you and your team goes ever more strong which then helps you with your retention issues that you have as well yeah sure sure and one thing i've always found is one thing i guess <clears throat> a couple of things i've noted here is that um that that what we tend to forget is that the what we're practicing with toyota carter what we're practicing what we're asking ourselves to practice and our learners to practice is a thinking pattern 
And if mm. we're asking them to practice a thinking pattern and, we're, and we want to lead them through that, then our relationship with that person is going to be very critical. I think uh, sometimes we tend to Toyota card as a, a process for process, where it's yeah. not. A Toyota card is a pattern for people on process. So the yeah. relationship between us and our learners is absolutely critical. Do you want yeah. to comment a little bit about that? How, how have you, do you find that? Have you found that? I think is, you know, as I've progressed through my 10 years of kata, um, Toyota kata, <clears throat> and the coaching kata, it's especially, depending on the learner, or my maybe if, as I'm the second coach, it's, it's uh, very obvious uh, about that relationship with the learner. So in my current position, if I walk into a coaching situation as a second coach as vice president, that title alone does yeah, right. something to that relationship line, right? And I'm yeah, very right. aware of that. So I'm, I'm, I've tried to build this quickly relationship with that learner because I may have brief contacts over 13 plants, but I want to make that sure that person's at ease and, and comfort and, and, you know, understand even the change of me being there. That's, that's something that has to be addressed. Like why, sure. why the heck is a VP watching, you know, this, right? So I, I think it's critical in the relationship in, in uh, Toyota coaching kata. Sure. And also, uh, you, you know, we, we, you've stated it a couple of times already, and we know that PDCA is a cycle mm -hmm. um, and, it's a, uh, you know, it's a scientific thinking and it's applied, it's a meta pattern that sits in with the improvement carter um, and it's cyclical, not linear. So, but is JR cyclical as well? The four-step method? We learn it linearly. Well, absolutely, because the last thing on the JR problem solving side of the card is, did you accomplish your objective? Yeah. If you have accomplished it, you know, then there's time for celebration, recognition, and those kind of powerful tools. But if you haven't, you need to repeat, you know, set, make sure your objective is correct. You have to repeat the cycle. And how often, in your experience, how often do you achieve your objective first time around? Oh, so it's less than 50%. <laughs> exactly. I think yeah. you're being generous. Or maybe no, I'm just not very good at it. I no, it's, I'm sure it's less than that. <laughs> I just haven't kept score yet. Yeah. And that's. I think that that illustrates a point as well. And I think one of the one of the uh, dangers with JR is we is we and I, th I think it's the right thing to learn it learn it linear, linearly objective step one step two step three step four I think that's the right thing but I think we, we can sometimes get a bit stuck of not going beyond that and if we don't practice it enough we won't recognize that um, cyclical nature of it and I think getting the parallels with scientific thinking uh, helps us understand that JR is cyclical and you're not going to get the objective first time round. You're, you're not going to get it more often than you will. And that isn't failure. Yes. It's not failure. It's just another it's opportunity. It's the nature of it. It's, yeah, right. that's right. And it's the nature of it. It's the nature of the, this pattern and it's this nature of this skill that it's not linear and we're not going to get it first time around. It's scientific thinking for people. We're going to have to go around maybe several times. Correct. And if, if you think about the nature of the improvement kata and coaching kata, the one advantage over people they have, we have is the outcome metrics, right? So you can yes. see if you're actually influencing outcome metrics yes. very clearly and decide if you're directionally going the right way or what you're trying. If it's you're in process, that, if you're in process. Yes, right. If you're in process with people, it's not so, there's not so many, measurements or metrics that you can go oh that person's you know come along or our relationship stronger those are harder things to judge yeah yeah but it's there isn't it because in step four in job relations you know we're asked to do our follow-up and we're asked to, to look for factors which yeah. are very hard to put measurements on them yeah but um but, but but we're asked to look for those factors, which is which is uh, you know having a look at the outcome, the outcome yep. metric. It's Definitely just hard to put the metrics on. Changes, all those types of things. Exactly, Absolutely. exactly. And so, and also what I what I find is you do at that point you're actually getting more you're getting more facts. Correct. Absolutely. You and it just generates on itself if you keep acting. That's right. right. That's right. And that in itself illustrates that scientific pattern as well. 
because yeah. uh, in step four, we're actually getting more facts, which if we haven't achieved our objective first time around, which we probably haven't, because that's reality, then those facts go back up to the top and we start again. Yeah, absolutely. And that's okay. That, that's the cycle, right? That's the cycle. Yeah, absolutely. PDCA. Um, and what about, how have you gone with, I mean, you've got this, are you trying within your organization, you know, you're a, you know, one of the, you know, um, main, main uh, conduits for this, for both Toyota Carter and Job Relations. How do you go, you know, do you discuss this with your, the people you're trying to influence or do you, do you, do you push this thought or do you let them try and discover it themselves? How have you gone with moving it beyond you? Well, it's have really, you tried uh, to? I'm sorry, what was that? Oscar? Have you tried to move it beyond you? You know, what's, yes. I think, I, I really, I think the reason I'm saying this is sometimes we can, you know, we have these light bulbs ourselves and we yeah. try to impart them on others when it's not, when they're not ready for it. Um, right. And that I don't mean that disrespectfully. And that causes more drama than it actually helps. So yeah. I just wonder how you're at, where you're at with um, this discussion we've been having. Do you have it with other people within Tatian? As, as their depth and mastery in the two subject matters grow, but currently with this company, I'm leading with job relations uh, because that helps the thought process and the discussions around scientific thinking about building a relationship with that person. And then I find I can introduce uh, to sort of cottage them as a process thinking. Yeah, right. um, and so it's, it's, and I've had this role since June. Yeah, so right. I have a whole new team. So I'm in the, yeah, the middle. Quality of the, roles, the quality the, roles come in in yeah, June. Yes. Yeah. So I've basically doubled my team. And uh, we first started talking about this in July. Right. Uh, and then in two weeks after the, the American uh, Thanksgiving holiday, we're coming together again for two and a half days of further discussion. Um, so yeah, we're, we're moving down the path, but it's not fast as anybody could imagine. Sure, sure. Are you starting to, have you had anyone comment to you about the similarities? No, yeah, no. No, okay, it's interesting. I wonder, you know, from a, you know, people always say, how do we get buy-in on Toyota Carter or job relations or any of this stuff? And I wonder if it's something that's going to be a positive in increasing the chances of getting buy-in or whether it's something we hold back on. I don't know the answer to the question. I wonder what your thoughts are. Well, I, would, I had experience uh, in the last week uh, with, I have an industrial engin engineering group under me as well. And, um, we and you were, can go uh, on holidays. How do you handle that? <laughs> we have a really good team. Yeah. really good well products said. well said um and we were talking about problem solving methods um and we were in my last get together with the team we were talking about our small book about the four, four types of problems yes <laughs> and this gentleman was having a hard time applying like a traditional eight-step method of problem solving and he walked into my office and he said you know what i'm just going to do follow the jr yeah, and this, and this gentleman's only been trained in JR for about two months. Yes. I'm just going to follow JR because that other stuff just seems to be too complicated for me. And to me, that was the connection, right? That that person could Perfect. understand that he could use the, the JR process to do the same thing we we're trying to do with the eight step method. Yeah. I think we've taught you and I've talked about this recently, haven't we? Where I've had people say it's very, a very similar reaction. You know, why can't we use this objective thing and these four steps for non-people stuff? Right. Absolutely. So that question itself is an internal, although they don't realize it, recognition of the fact that there's, can, there's a very strong relationship between the Toyota Carter thinking, the practice pattern, that's scientific and, and job relations, which is scientific thinking for people. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We've just got a question popped up. And uh, so we might, we've got, five minutes left um i might have a look at that question it says what would be some good ways to quantify building relationships outside of workplace surveys so have you if you guys at tajian had a crack at that what would be some good ways to quantify building relationships outside of workplace surveys 
Well, something I'm experimenting with right now is uh, trying to build individual trust with my team, uh, working on basically uh, three month target condition goals for them. Yeah, right. And basically getting in the routine of setting up weekly plans. So I asked for weekly, weekly feedback about their execution score. If they had planned 10 items and that to me, if you know their honesty in that, because we come back to face to face once a month, I can tell by their progress. If they're being honest, that, I tell, that gives me an indication if I've got a good relationship with that person. The execution score, the other thing it does for me is it, it tells me if somebody's struggling, I get an early warning signal that says, yes. hey, Wayne, you maybe need to go build a strong relationship or maybe you have a problem that you have to go and address and the JR card naturally, you know, rears its, its head. So that's what I'm experimenting with right now. Yeah, um, sure. I'm expecting to get feedback from my team when we meet after the holiday. Um, so that's that's the most recent one we've yeah. done. Yeah, one thing that's dawned on me a little bit with that, I know you and I have spoken about this related to something else, is the trust factor. And yes. I mean, how do you measure trust? One thing that I've sort of become aware of in the last six months is that if information is flowing to you without you asking, yep. then there is trust there. Yeah, absolutely. Now, if you've got to ask for it and push it and pull, 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 then yep. there's probably not a high level of trust. It's the truth, the hard truth. But if you're getting the right information flowing to you without asking, now how yep. do you measure that to the person who are? I'm not quite sure, but it's a feeling thing. If that right information is coming to you without asking, then there's trust and Absolutely. therefore there's engagement. Yep. Um, how we measure that, I'm not quite sure. Wayne, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Will you, as a matter of interest, um, I'm hoping certainly to get to the TWI Summit and Cardicon live, uh, first time in two years. Uh, I think our government's now allowing us to get on planes and not having to hold up when we come back. So are you planning on going to either of the two or what's, or is it a bit far? Oh, I, plan, I plan on going to both. Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right. Um, I look I'm forward. not speak, planning and speaking this year. I just want to take it all in and learn more, Good. Uh, but I'm willing to talk to anybody at the event and uh, get to meet yeah. more people who can help it. Uh, so we can help each other. Yeah, good. And that's what I was looking for. For those of you who are watching and listen to the recording, Wayne is very is is one of the more most genuine people I've met in terms of his endeavours with scientific thinking and job relations. So if you see him at either of those two events, p please feel free to. I'm sure he won't mind you walking up and asking lots of questions and telling him. Uh, and we're always interested, me too, on what you've learned from practicing yeah. the stuff we've been talking about. So, Wayne, thank you. Appreciate your half an hour. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining us. And have a great afternoon. And we'll maybe see you in Jekyll Island in March. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thanks, thanks Skylar. Bye.